genome browsers and the example is UCSC. The genomes are so large that useful information is hard to find from the sequence of the genomes. Researchers at UCSC decided to make a computational microscope to help the scientists to search for the genomes and the, though, and the data that have been generated by sequencing of the genomes. Researchers can use UCSC genome browser to find information in the human genome and the other genomes that have been sequenced. So all the data about all those genomes that have been sequenced can be found at the genome browser UCSC. This is the link for the genome browser UCSC. This is the main home page of UCSC genome browser. This is an other view of the home page of UCSC genome browser where we can find the information and we can zoom in and zoom out to this home page. The UCSC genome browser gives the information about the markers that have been mapped on the human genome and other genomes as well as the cytogenetic map. Here we can see that the cytogenetic maps can be viewed at the UCSC genome browser. And these are, these, these are the list of the markers which are present on particular chromosome. This is another multi-resolution view in which we can see that different banding pattern, light bands and the dark bands. And if we magnify it, here we can see that this is chromosome number 4 and band is 4P16.3. This is the dark band 4P16.2. Then light band 4P16.1. So this is the uh, banding pattern that can be seen at the UCSC genome browser. So it is called as multi-resolution view. There is an other view that can be seen at the UCSC genome browser. It is called as gene cluster view. So within a specific band, uh, genes can be seen. Here we can see that this band has been magnified 4P16.3 and these are the genes which are present on this location of the chromosome or on this band of the chromosome. So these are all genes which are present at 4P16.3. If we want to see a single gene, say this is a single gene view, here we can see this gene, we want to see this gene. So this gene has been magnified here and this is the magnified view of this gene which is present at the 4P16.3. So single gene can also be viewed with the help of genome browsers. If we want to see single exon of a gene, as in case of eukaryotic genes, we now know that there are exons and there are introns. And if we want to see just a single exon, so that single exon can be viewed with the help of UCSC genome browser. Here, this is the single exon. While on the other hand, if we want to see just a single base or the single nucleotide that can also be viewed with the help of UC, UCSC genome browser, here we can see the detailed DNA sequence and we want to see just one of the nucleotide, we can use a UCSC genome browser. So if we conclude that, what are the genome browsers? Genome browsers is actually like the microscopes. With the help of genome browsers, we can view the location of the genes, bending pattern, number of exons in a gene, or the DNA sequence that consists of either exons or introns that can all viewed with the help of at a different uh, genome browsers. And here the example is UCSC genome browser.